Well, what is going on everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today, I'm here in Minnesota at Mighty Lake Mille Lacs. Now, I have fished this lake once before with my buddy JP who might join me tomorrow for tomorrow's video, but it is an awesome lake, has some of the biggest smallmouth in the country, and is probably regarded as the best smallmouth lake in the country. So, I'm excited to get out. I've never gone out in my own boat before. We went in JP's boat last time, so it's good to get Pearl out on Lake Mille Lacs. And I say it's time to catch some giant smallmouth. Let's get started. Can't forget the plug. Oh, the keys are... I think the keys are in the truck. <laughs> Dang it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Pearl's good. You can't exactly steer with these on. What a cool lake! So the goal for today is to catch my PB smallmouth, which if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here in the corner. It is 4.45 pounds. I lost a potential PB out here on Mille Lacs last summer about a month a month and a year ago, so, or about 11 months ago, I guess. And so today and tomorrow is kind of going to be my, my quest to break the personal best. Yeah, actually, that rhymed. Didn't even mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> so, of course, my main objective is to break my PB the next two days, which is very, very possible. My buddy JP has been catching big ones out here. Uh, but also, I want to learn how to throw a hair jig. A hair jig is one of those lures that I know works really well in the springtime for smallmouth bass. And I'll be throwing it up in a tournament in Kenora, Ontario in a few weeks. And so I want to spend just kind of the next two days really figuring out how to throw a hair jig. Uh, it is really, really shallow here. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this bay. But we'll figure it out. You know, there's always that, that, that weird feeling you get inside, kind of almost a scary, but yet like, I don't know, anticipation feeling on a new lake. Now, I've been on Mille Lacs before, but it was a different time of the summer. Much later, the fish were out deep on the, on the rock reefs and stuff. And uh, I just love that, that feeling. Because I know like right now, I have no clue what to do. But I know by the end of the day, I will have figured stuff out that's gonna help me catch fish the next two days. And so. It's kind of like practicing for a tournament almost, except that today's just, today just for fun. But basically I'm idling around looking for like shallow rock reefs that transition into gravel in about 6 to 12 feet. So that's what the locals have told me. Um, I don't try to get too much help when I go places, but some guys gave me a few spots to say just, you know, check this out, there could be fish there. And I'm looking for big boulders that transition into gravel. So got my side skin on, looking at that, hoping to, uh, hoping to find some boulders. Again, I'm gonna start by chunking around the Ned Rig. Gotta get me a Ned Rig bait though. Got me a little Ned Rig. I got one. I got a small mouth. Oh my goodness. Is it a big one? Oh, it ain't a bad one. It ain't a bad one, that's for sure. Bring it in here, Mr. Smalley. Oh, my first one of the Minnesota trip by myself. Looks about a three and a half pounder. Could be a little bit smaller, but we'll see. Oh man, these fish are beautiful. Good gosh. Oh no, don't dig, don't dig, don't dig. <laughs> gosh dang it. <laughs> I'd be a bad FLW tour pro. I don't know how to, I don't know how to net a fish properly. Gosh, I'm really bad at this. My net extends. What am I doing? Make your net longer, Tyler. Yes. Got him! Good fish! Good fish on the Ned Rig. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. I will take him every single day of the week. That'll go almost three pounds. Just a classic Lake Mille Lacs smallmouth. Awesome! Oh, it gets me excited! I was on what, the fourth or fifth cast? I call that a success. Let me get my hat and my sunglasses back on. Not exactly sure why I took those off. I'm also gonna learn how to net my fish better. That was straight up, that was straight up pitiful. That wasn't even funny, that was just, that was just sad. Oh boy, we got one. We got one, boys and girls. How big are we talking? It seems to be fighting a little bit harder, bigger head shakes. So let's see. It almost feels like a walleye. I don't think it's a bass. Oh no, it's a bass. It's a bass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Another quality fish. You know what? I'm going to practice my net skills. Practice getting better at my net. Yes! Woo! A little bit bigger one. Oh baby. Okay. I like this lake a lot. <laughs> 
Oh, he got the Ned rig down his throat. Oh, man. Oh, sorry, bud. Spit it out for me there. Good job. Good job. Ouch, ouch. Heck, yeah. Probably pushing four pounds. We'll, we'll weigh it out in the connect scale. Oh, okay, yeah. I was right. Three, three point eight eight. I'll take three point eight eight pounders literally all day. Love this fish. So so beautiful. Gosh, they're strong and big. Whew. We're gonna let you go, Mr. Mr. Big Smalley. Mrs. Probably. I'll be Mrs. Big Smalley. Adios. Yeah. Well, I'm having fun so far with the Ned rig. Of course, my ambition is to throw the hair jig. So if if the Ned rig stops working for few casts I'll pick up the uh, pick up the hair jig time to put on my hood my AFCO hoodie shop 10% off down below AFCO is the clothing that I wear I never talk about the shorts but these are the cloudburst shorts and they are dope like they are cool looking shorts and you never think like I don't need different fishing shorts but these things are comfortable they uh, they're basically waterproof I mean like they can they can function as a swimsuit if they need to but I mean water falls right off them they are good shorts that's for sure what's up loon what you doing, son? Got one. Got one on the hair jig. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. That was a light bite, ladies and gentlemen. That was like mega light. And he's taking me for a wild ride here. How big is he? He's not even that big, I don't think. It's just six pound, six pound line to eight pound line is uh, not a very big. Oh, is he even a bass? Oh, are you kidding me? He's a walleye. I caught a walleye. You know what? That's all right. My first walleye of the year. I'll take it. Oh yeah, all the walleye in this lake are uh, are gone. You know, the population's dwindling. <laughs> we got a, a nice size walleye with him. Is that a bass? Oh, that's a bass. That's a bass. Yeah, it's probably illegal. I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> Bring it in here, Mr. Walleye. Boom. That's a quality eater sized walleye. Nice fish, nice fish. Don't you spine me. I wouldn't appreciate that. Oh, he didn't even have the hair jig in his mouth. He had it outside of his mouth. First walleye of the year. See ya, bud. Got one. Got one on the hair jig. All right, I'm right out here in front of that tree. Again, feels like a walleye. We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see. Oh, no, it's a smallie, I think. Yeah, it is. A smaller guy. But we'll take him. We'll take him on the hair jig. My first hair jig smallmouth. Bring him in. Bring, oh yeah. We're gonna flip you in. You're not too big. Yay. Little guy. Ouch. Beautiful. On the hair jig, top of the mouth. Awesome. I'll let you go. Got him. Got him. Got him. I think it's another walleye. Could be wrong. Uh, oh, nope, nope. It's a small mouth. Oh my goodness. That's a nice one. That is a nice one on the hair jig. That could be pushing four pounds. Sorry, I didn't get the jump on camera. I had to turn the turn the rod away. Oh, yep, got that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good small mouth. This is a good small mouth right here. Come on, come on. Bring it in. You're done, you're done, aren't you? You done fighting? I'll let you keep going. Never wanna let these fish, oh no. Oh, we got power poles, don't do that. Don't hang around the power poles, please. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. Heck yeah. That could be a new PB. Possibly. I think it'd be just short. Bring it in. Bring it in. Nope, nope, nope. He ain't done yet. He ain't done. Am I dang right? Yes. Woo. Let's go. Oh, man. What an absolute football of a fish. Oh, man. Mangled up the hair jig there, but... It'll all be good. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, look at that fish. Definitely not a PB. I'll weigh it just to see what it is. But it's, again, another high three, possibly pushing four. Look at that belly. Look at how fat that fish is. That is crazy. These fish are beautiful. Beautiful fish. Gosh, I can't get over this place right now. Oh, yeah, about the same. Three, eight, one. 3.81. I'll take a bunch of 3.8s, especially when they look like that. Whew. All right. We will see you later. Oh, don't you bite down on my hand. Ah, you're biting on my finger. Now, what you guys didn't see for the last 45 minutes, I was on the phone with, uh, with some sponsors and such. 
you know this this YouTube game is not all fishing it is it is some some emails some phone calls and some fishing as well I'd say a third a third third and third but we are back we are back in this spot good thing about the power poles we haven't moved without power poles I would have had to stay on the trolling motor to stay around this area or just drifted off of it and then had to idle back but because I had the power poles we didn't move Oh, I got one. <laughs> oh, I hope he didn't swallow it. He's been sitting there for a while. He ate it on the fall, I think. All right, come on, bud. What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, he's not big. Maybe three pounds. I'm gonna put the poles down a little bit. Boom. Let those drift paddles do their work. Bring it in, bud. Bring it in, little smallie. Little small jaw. On the Ned Rig, yeah. That's a chunk. Solid two and a half pounder. Ow. Beautiful though. On the Ned Rig, ate it down the mouth. And basically, if you guys have seen my crawfish videos, the underwater craw videos, you know why a Ned Rig works so well, because it looks like a little body of a crawfish with no claws. So these smallies are like, oh, this guy has no defense mechanism. All right, see ya amigo. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Got him. Oh, this is a big one. I'm pretty sure this is a big one. Come on, where are you going, big boy? Ah, he's not fighting that hard, but he's not coming up. Oh, walleye. <laughs> Classic. Classic walleye eating the Ned Rig, you know. Got the walleye down the gullet. Ah, they got nasty teeth. I don't want to stick my hand in there. Yeah. Do I got any pliers? Oh my gosh. My life jacket just inflated. <laughs> oh, oh, it scared the bejeebers out of me. Why did my life jacket inflate? That is weird. It's not even wet. See ya. Walleye or walleye not. I got something else here, folks. I don't know what it is. But it ain't bad. Whatever it is, it's big. Please don't be a big walleye. Please be a big smallmouth. Oh, I think it is a big smallmouth. Let's go. Put the poles down a little bit while I fight it. Oh, it's a big walleye. Gosh, dang it. That's a mega. <laughs> I found the mega walleye school here. Mega walleyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the walleyes you come to Malax for. Dang. All right. You big old walleye. Scary teeth. Gotcha. Got myself a nice sized Minnesota walleye. Look at those teeth. See if I can open. I don't want to open his mouth. I'll let him go. Man, I'm just having fun catching fish though. I don't care what they are right now. There's something. Be a smallie. Come on. Be a smallie. I think it is. I think it is. Oh, come on. Be a smallie. Yes, yes, it's a smolly. It's a smolly. We'll give him some more drag. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Woohoo! Smolly, how I love you. How I love you, Mr. Smolly. I love when you jump. I also hate when you jump, but your jump is so majestic. I only got eight pound line. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Come on, bring it, bring it. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Woo! Oh, I love lifting a heavy fish into the boat. Let's go, let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah, whoo! This is fun. This lake is a blast. Gosh, look at these fish. Look at that thing. That is incredible. Beautiful, another one pushing four. Cookie cutter, 3.89. <laughs> Wait, 3.88. I love 388. All these fish are beautiful, big and fat. I love them. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well, that was definitely a very successful first spot. Um, the lox, I think, is on fire right now, so not as much about my fishing skill as I think it is about the lake being on fire. But we gotta go pick up JP from uh, the marina, maybe grab some lunch. See y'all there.